Salvation is not a repair. It's not a repair of your righteousness. Our righteousness is a complete replacement. It's Jesus' righteousness being put upon you. Go to Matthew chapter 9. It says, No man put a piece of new put a piece of new cloth unto an old garment. For that which is put in to fill up taketh from the garment, and the rent is made worse. You know what this is saying? It says, No one would take, um, no one would take, so like I ripped up my jeans. I ripped my old jeans, and no one would take a piece of uh, this is actually true, by the way, because like if you've ever like had somebody who used to patch pants or patch, um, you know, clothing, you would never take like my mom would always like keep old jeans around. She would always keep old jeans around because if she needed to make a patch, yeah, she patched our pants. If you need to make a patch, you don't want to patch like a patch with a new patch because then it'll shrink again and it'll it'll make a tear. It'll, it'll tear. So the Bible here is saying is that nobody takes a piece of new cloth and patches an old garment with a piece of new cloth because it's just going to tear. Okay, that's why, look, that's why the Bible says, turn to Ephesians chapter 4. Turn to Ephesians chapter 4. That's why the Bible, but Jesus is, is, is explaining a bigger truth here. He's explaining that, that you are not to just take an old garment and just put new patches on it in your life. That's why in Ephesians chapter 4, look at verse 24. The Bible says when you get saved, like when you get saved, this is what you're supposed to do. When you get saved and you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and you're saved in that moment, look at verse 24. It says, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Look, he's not saying like patch the old man. He's saying put on a brand new man. This, this is the problem with many Christians today right here. Is people like, sometimes I see that it's hard for people to embrace this Christian life, to embrace this because they never really figure out what this means right here in Matthew chapter nine and in Ephesians chapter four. You know, they, this, is, this is the guy that's gonna, you know, he gets saved and he's gonna like dip his toes into the Christian life. He's gonna kind of feel it out a little bit and see how things go. But what that guy is doing is he's taking new patches and he's putting them on an old garment. And, and you know what he's gonna do? He's just gonna, he, you know what? He's like, I'm gonna modify the old man. You say, that sounds pretty good to modify the old man, maybe get some things out of my life here and there, and I'm gonna modify the old man. But here's the thing, it's not gonna work. Why? Because you're just gonna like, you're gonna get a bunch of tears in all the patches, all the brand new patches that you put on the old man. They're gonna tear. That's what Jesus is telling you in Matthew chapter nine. That's why, look, that's why the Christian life is best. It just, if when it's served, when, you, when you're just all in. It's really the only way it works is what Matthew chapter nine is saying. If you ever heard Pastor Jimenez say, Pastor Jimenez has said this in sermons, many times when we were going to church at Verity. But he, he says, he says, I feel like I've pastored several different churches at this point. I mean, he was, maybe when he said that, he was maybe seven, eight years into his ministry. And he says, I feel like I've pastored several different churches. And the reason for that is because the average Christian life, they say, is about two to three years long. You say, why is that? Why after two to three years do people just fall out of the Christian life? Here's why. Because people are just, they're just putting patches on. Somebody, they quit drinking. They quit drinking. Hey, great, great, good job. But then they just keep going to the same places. They keep having the same life. They have the same friends, all these things. They're just putting patches on and those patches are gonna tear. Those patches are gonna tear. It's somebody that, you know, it just, you know, they go to the same places. It's somebody that, that maybe they get saved and they're like, you know what? I'm gonna take my life that's right now. I'm gonna take the old man and I'm gonna add church. Church is a patch. It's not gonna work. I mean, great. I mean, it's gonna tear though. It's gonna tear. That's what Jesus is saying in Matthew chapter nine. And just because you're putting it on the same garment, it's just gonna keep tearing. And then, you know, it tears and they put another patch on and then pretty soon they got patches on top of patches. And look, here's the thing. It just turned to Romans chapter six. It just gets irritating. 
And they're just constantly repairing patches everywhere. Constantly repairing patches. Look at Romans chapter 6 and look at verse number 4. Because they're patching the same old garment. Look at verse number 4 of Romans chapter 6. This is why in Romans chapter 6, when Jesus is talking about, look, the first thing you do after you get saved, you should get baptized. But look at what it says about baptism right here. It says, therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ Jesus was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Lord, even so all, we also should walk in like a, a, a modified life. We should walk in an improved life. We should walk in a patched life. No, you should walk in newness of life, is what the Bible says. But here's the thing. The reason these people quit after two or three years, and the reason that you know that church and this church will probably look different in two or three years, is because people are just using patches. And after so many patches, they just get tired, and they just throw the whole thing away. Like somebody is just constantly just taping this old you know, you got a pair of cowboy boots with all these holes, and you're just taping it and patching it and taping it. It's like, why don't you just get a new pair of boots? That's what Jesus is saying. But then the problem is, and we talked about this a couple weeks ago, the problem is, is that when those people, they get tired of patching, and they just, see, they never tried the new garment. That's the problem. And it's sad to see, as a, as a pastor, you have the perspective, you can really see that. They never tried the new garment, and then they throw the whole thing away, and then they go back and they go, they get way worse than they ever were. Just again and again and again, it's the same story.